If you go to Zerodha and type SGB, that means sovereign gold bond, you are going to see more than 40 SGBs coming on your screen. Each one of them trading at a very different value. If you make a wrong decision, you are going to lose a lot of money. If you make the right decision, you are going to earn at least up to 10% more returns in gold investing. But please do not worry. In this video, I am going to explain to you how to choose the sovereign gold bond from the secondary market that will give you better returns, up to 10% returns. Also, secondly, we are going to compare in an Excel spreadsheet how much of return sovereign gold bond is going to give you versus the physical gold. And I will prove to you that the only reason you should buy physical gold is if you have to give jewelry to your wife or to your girlfriend. Other than that, sovereign gold bond is the best to invest in gold. Also, there is no nonsense promotional stuff in this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. That's the only way I can continue making such videos. With that, let's get this video started. The very first thing you need to do is to go to NSE's website and go to the sovereign gold bond screen. It will look something like this. Please do not worry. I will simplify it in a second. What you will see is listed all the sovereign gold bonds that have been issued and are there for you to buy from the secondary market. Let me also quickly tell you the code meaning SGB is sovereign gold bond July 27 here means that this bond is going to mature in July 27 meaning you can give your bonds back in July 27 and government will give you your appreciated gold price equivalent to what is the current gold price at that time right. If you look at other gold bond coding here, you will also see that in September 29, there is a sixth tranche. So multiple tranches were issued by the uh, Indian government and that is how the coding actually works. The first thing you need to do is click on LTP, which is the last traded price, sort it out by the lowest to highest. So what you see on my screen is SGB July 27 right now when I'm recording this video is trading at 5856 versus if I come down here, you will see that SGB November 25 is trading at 6200. That is a very, very big difference between one gram unit of sovereign gold in terms of the gold bond, right? From 6200 to 5800 almost, that is a very, very huge difference, right? Not many people understand this. Now the question is why there is a difference? I will tell you the reason or the pattern that we can see here. What you see is on my screen, the, the gold bonds that are maturing far away from now, let us say 27, 29, year 2030. 29 they are trading at a lower price while if I come down here you will see a pattern then the sovereign gold bonds that are maturing in the next one year or two year like 23 24 25 they are being traded at a very high level or at a very high price the primary reason I can think of is that people who already hold these bonds want to either sell them or people who want to buy sovereign gold bond for the next one or two or three years, they know that if they buy these ones, they are going to get matured very quickly and they will not need to pay any capital gain when they give it back to the Indian government. Therefore, you will see that these particular sovereign gold bonds are trading at a high price. The question you need to ask yourself is now, do you want to hold your sovereign gold bond for the next four years in this example, which is July 27, roughly when I'm recording this video? If that is the case, you please go ahead and look at the last trading price of this particular one. Open it in a next screen here, right? 5856 here. What you will also see is note down the face value, which is the issue value of this particular gold bond, because the interest you are going to earn is on this face value, not on the trading value, not on the current value of the bond. So it was issued at 3443. You are going to earn interest on 3443 for the remaining duration of this gold bond, right? Likewise, we need this information to be able to compare which sovereign gold bond you are going to buy. I'm going to jump into the calculator, but before we do that, please come back to the screen, have a look at these bonds which are trading at the lowest price. Ask yourself a question, how long are you ready to invest this money, right? 27 here, 29 for example, right? So are you ready to invest this money for the next six years? If yes, you can go for 5880. But if you only want to invest it for next four year, five year, you can go for this one and note their issue price. Just simply click on it. You will get it for the calculation purposes so that I can show you the benefits we are going to earn here. You will see that I've also taken the price of SGB November 25. So if I come here and I show you this is SGB November 25, 6200 is the current market price. It was issued at 2934, right? Now again, the interest we are going to earn on this 6200 one is very low because the issue price was very low. The interest you always earn is on the price, right? I hope this whole concept of sovereign gold bond trading different prices, the interest is very clear. We are going to use all of this data into, into the Excel spreadsheet and I will show you 
how we are going to earn a lot of money by simply selecting the right one. So far, if you're liking this video, please press the like button so that this video reaches out to more and more people on YouTube and everybody gets educated about how to buy sovereign gold bonds. With that, let's jump into the calculator that I've created. If you want this calculator, let me know in the comments, sovereign gold bond calculator. I'll be more than happy to share it with you. In the calculator, you will see three things. One is if you buy SGB by my method, SGB normal method when people are not aware of the price differences. And lastly, physical gold and how much of more money you are going to earn by simply not investing in physical gold. So the first thing I've assumed here is that you are ready to invest 10 lakh rupees in gold. It could be any amount. You can come and change it here. But more importantly, as we saw the cheapest sovereign gold bond that, were, that we looked at was actually the issue price was 3443 3 here. It could be a different one at the time you want to buy. At the time of recording, I've selected the one that is trading at the least price. So please go ahead and get the face value or the issue price from that and enter it here. Now let us talk about how the interest will be earned. So let us say that 2.5% is the interest per year that you're going to earn. And let us say you are ready to invest for next five years for simplicity so that I have the data for five years. You will see that if you do the simple maths, you're going to earn 2.5% of this issue price if assuming you buy one unit. So that comes out to be 86 rupees per year, but you're going to buy more than that in 10 lakh rupees. So let us say the current trading price for that one is 5856. As we saw in the example, you're going to buy 171 units of that particular sovereign gold bond. So if I multiply 86 by 171, you are going to get you're going to get and multiplied by number of five years, you're going to get total interest is 73,000 rupees for the next five years. Please know you're not going to get this interest if you're buying a physical gold because in physical gold, you're not earning anything. It is lying ideal in your tijori, right? Here you're earning some interest, 73,000 rupees easily. Now, the second point is that if you look at the profit that you will make because of buying it at the lowest price. So if you're buying it at 5856 five, versus 6200, you're going to earn a profit because of this trade is 58,000 rupees here because of 171 units that you want to buy. That is equivalent to 10 extra gold bond units that you are able to do now, right now, right? So I'm assuming rather than getting 171 units, you actually got 181 units because you had some benefits in buying the cheapest one, right? Now, if we assume the gold rate, gold returns for the next five years. So if I look at the data here, you will see that this is a very good graphics that all of us should hang onto our walls because it beautifully summarizes the Sensex versus gold returns. You will see last five years, gold has given 14.2%. I'm assuming 14.2% for the next five years. It could be any number, but for our comparison purposes, we need something to go with, right? So if you look at 14.2% here, you're going to see that this investment that we did in gold today, 10 lakh rupees is going to give us roughly um, 20 lakh rupees at the end of five years, right? And the final value that we are going to get by adding the interest and everything together, you are going to see that we are going to get 21 lakh 93,000 rupees. That means you are going to get annual return of 17.01% here, right? This calculation here you see is that additional 10 units that you've got, you are going to get interest on that as well. Because of that, I've got this calculation done here and you will get 17% annual returns. Although the gold has only given you 14.20%, but just because you've invested in sovereign gold bond, you've got more money because of the interest here and also the trade benefit that you got while buying at the sovereign gold bond at a cheaper, cheaper rate that we have just seen, right? If you go with the normal method, what is going to happen is your issue price is going to be less here, 2934 that we saw in the example there, 2934. So your interest is going to be less, roughly 60,000 in the next five years. I've done the calculations here. Also, you're only going to get 161 units here rather than 171 plus 10, which is 181 because of the higher price here. And if you do the calculations here for 14.20%, you're going to get to 20 lakh rupees. You're almost saving 2 lakh rupees versus the cheapest method that we've seen here. And that is giving you 2.12% more returns every annual basis comparing with the normal method of buying at the highest price. If you compare it with the physical gold, you are going to see that there is no interest here, absolutely zero interest. Also, if I add 15% making charges, which is very, very reasonable, you're going to lose out of this 10 lakh rupees, 1 lakh 50,000 outright, because you're going to get less units. You're going to get only 137 units at the 6,200 rupees rate. And if I use 14.20% annual appreciation of the gold for the next five years, you're going to get 
16 lakhs 51,000 rupees that is going to be at least 5 lakh 42,000 rupees less than what we had here in the case of my method also that is going to be less returns 6.46 percent annual less returns that you're going to earn overall absolute terms 33 percent money you are going to lose if you invest in physical gold 10 lakh rupees in this example as i said the only reason you should buy physical gold is if you have to buy jewelry because you want to gift it to your wife or your girlfriend or whoever it is then it makes sense you to buy the gold jewelry physical gold otherwise sovereign gold bond by this method is going to give you the best returns as i've proven here if you need the calculator let me know in the comments i'm sure you will have a lot of questions around sovereign gold bonds the capital gain tax the issue price the interest what happens if you sell it during the trade let me know all of those questions in the comments i'll try and read as many comments as possible and answer as many as possible with that i will see you in my next video keep rocking